Chapter 6, Avebury The northern station Stone of Stonehenge is in direct alignment between the center of the circle and Avebury. Avebury lies in an area of chalkland in the upper Kennet Valley, at the western end of the Berkshire Downs, which forms the catchment for the River Kennet and supports local springs and seasonal watercourses. The monument stands slightly above the local landscape, sitting on a low chalk ridge 160 meters, 520 feet, above sea level, to the east of the Marlborough Downs, an area of lowland hills. Archaeologists freely admit that the history of Avebury before the construction of the Henge is uncertain because little datable evidence has emerged from modern excavations. But stray finds of flints at Avebury, dated between 7000 and 4000 BC, indicate that the site was visited in the late Mesolithic period. If we now apply the same groundwater table adjustments demonstrated in our hypothesis, we are left with a landscape rendered unrecognizable by groundwater, as the Avebury Circle becomes an island. The most remarkable thing is that Avebury now looks like a sister site to Old Sarum, both are perfectly round islands surrounded by groundwater, both have two inner circles and are aligned to Stonehenge via its moated station stones. The next item of interest is the orientation of the long barrows. If you look at a map of Avebury, you can see that the barrows are not all oriented in the same direction. Archaeologists would have you believe that these monuments were only made for the dead but, if that was the case, why don't they point to a particular direction, such as the sunrise or sunset, or something equally symbolic? From our Mesolithic groundwater map, we can show that East Kennet Long Barrow was the first hill marker you would see if approaching Avebury from the eastern inlet. Although West Kennet Long Barrow is seen side on, it would still be visible as a smaller marker, as it had large white stones added to its eastern entrance to give it greater visibility. When the groundwater started to recede, as we saw at Old Sarum, our ancestors tried to keep their monument an island by adding ditches. These ditches would have been shallow at first, becoming deeper over the centuries until they were finally abandoned, leaving what we see today. You have been watching a small part of the prehistoric Britain DVD documentary called The Stonehenge Enigma. The full three-hour DVD is available on Amazon as well as all three trilogy books. Oh, 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 oh,